<laughs> Hello everybody, a uh, welcome back. This is the look that we're going to try and recreate today. I am using the biggest beauty sponge I have ever saw in my life. It is huge. I don't recommend this for your face. If you have to do like body art stuff, this would be amazing for like a big surface. But for your face, it is just way too big. To get into the eye area and everything so i'm going over my lips with foundation because the main focus of this halloween look is on the mouth so now i'm going in with some concealer and I, as you can see i'm going in with a lot because i want to make my face a lot lighter and the found or the concealer the yeah the foundation i'm all over the place the foundation that i used was not light enough so i wanted to go in with the concealer to lighten up my face a little bit more <sighs> I'm going to just set my entire face with some powder and now I'm going in with this wet and wild palette that I found and I'm going to be doing like a nose contour with this gray shadow since we are lightening up the skin a little bit and going darker on the eyes I wanted my nose to be contoured but I didn't want to use brown I wanted to go in with a gray color and now I'm just blending that out a little bit so now I'm going in with a white liner and I'm just trying to create different shapes I was copying the picture as much as possible and yeah this is what I came up with I love this eyeliner, you guys, this white eyeliner. If you're doing Halloween looks, I'm telling you, it is so creamy. It's so easy to work with. And if you mess up, it wipes right away. It's amazing. I love it. After you get the shape that you like, then go in with a black face paint and you want to fill in all of your shapes. I also love this face paint from Wet and Wild. The black and the red, like I told you guys, they are amazing. The white is not the best. I haven't found a white face paint that I am in love with, but the black and the red, they're pretty good for a reasonably cheaper product. So we are done with that. Now I'm going in with a white face paint and I want to do some shading. So I'm going to apply the face paint to the higher points of the, at the higher points. And then I, I kind of go into the middle and I kind of just do shading wherever I want to. So I go in with a little tiny brush and then I blend it out with a bigger brush. Once you get all the shading done to the, your liking, then you want to go in with a white, I'm using a white powder, but you can go in with a white face paint. And I'm just up doing some more shading to the inside so I start in the middle and then I kind of blend it out towards toward the edges I can't talk it's 7 40 at night right now and I have to be up at 4 30 in the morning it's gonna be a long day tomorrow again 
I really like the shading and everything. It, it starts pulling the look together a lot more. So now I'm going in with a darker brown shade and I'm just going to do some more shadowing above that white that I did on the top and then I do some on the bottom, on the side. Like I said, do it wherever you want to. We are going to go in with a blending brush and we're going to blend out all of them harsh lines so then they look more like shadows than whatever I had going on here. <laughs> That nose contour is horrible, and I did not notice it until I was editing, and I was like, what was I thinking? I obviously wasn't thinking, because I would never have left it like that if I saw it. So here I'm going in with a black shadow, and I'm placing this above my crease. I wanted to have like a really dark, smoky eye, but... I didn't want to put it on the eyelid so I didn't have or I don't have any white contacts so instead of doing the white contacts I decided to do white on my eyelids you'll see here in a second so I wanted to take the black like above the eye the eyelid and below it and kind of make like a try to create kind of like a wing and then instead of the contacts like I said I'm just going to use some white face paint I do set this with a white powder for the first time I think in all of my Halloween looks I finally take my own advice and set it because I really didn't want this white to transfer to the top or make any black transfer down onto the eyelid so yeah and it worked pretty good I did not have to touch it up or anything We're just going to start prepping the eyelashes for some falsies and then we will go in and do our eyebrows so I did not want to keep my eyebrows are pretty bushy I wanted my eyebrows to be thinner for this look I did not want the eyebrows to take away from the rest of what's going on so and I knew that I wanted the eyebrows to be pretty dark so that's why I went a lot thinner with them and I think they turned out pretty good so now for some reason I decided to go in and start highlighting I'm not sure why but I put a little bit of um, on my below my eyebrows and then I put a little bit on my nose too. So here we're just putting the falsies on. All of the falsies that I'm using is from Dollar Tree from Ioni. So now I just went in with this black wig that I believe I got from Walmart. And I got these horns from Walmart too, but I bought them actually last year. But they still have them this year. Here. I saw them the other day. I'm just going to tie them in the back and then I believe I'm done. Am I done after this? No, no, no. I didn't think so. Okay, so now I'm going in with some gray fa face paint that I got from the Wet n Wild palette and then we're done i hope you guys enjoy this look and i will see you guys tomorrow bye